1300 Pakistan Standard Time Assalamu Alaikum This is Radio Pakistan The news read by Ali Ahmad First the headline Prime Minister's office has released annual report on Imran Khan's initiatives in various fields for public welfare socio economic development and foreign policy front Foreign Minister says India has buried the concept of secularism owing to its Hindutva policy. Meeting of the Interprovincial Education Ministers is being held today to review the second wave of COVID-19 and the reopening of educational institutions in the country. On the second day of Christchurch cricket test against Pakistan, New Zealand in their first innings were 286 for 3 at stumps today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan took several initiatives in various fields during the last year for public welfare, socio-economic development, and the enhancement of the country's image among the Committee of Nations. According to the year in review report released by the Prime Minister's office today, the Prime Minister's initiatives related to the COVID response and announcement of the package for construction industry to ensure their employment for daily wages have been lauded by the WHO the report says the government launched several welfare projects under under its SARS program to make pakistan a welfare state on the pattern of riyasat e medina similarly the prime minister also took several steps in health and education sectors to facilitate the people in economy the current account balance remained in surplus from july to november last year remittances increased by 25% exports grew by 5% and large scale manufacturing increased by 6.7% foreign minister shah mehmood qureshi says india has buried the concept of secularism owing to its hindutva policy In a statement today he said international media is openly criticizing India for its discrimination against minorities and over the issue of farmers protest the foreign minister said pakistan has put forth a dossier before the world community exposing the indian terrorism with evidence he said pakistan will continue to raise the kashmir issue at every forum and kashmiris movement for getting the right of self determination will succeed Kashmiris on the both sides of the line of control and the world over will observe their right to self-determination day tomorrow with a renewed pledge to continue their liberation struggle till it reaches its ultimate goal it was on 5th of january in 1949 when the united nations security council passed a resolution supporting the kashmiris right to decide their future by themselves through united nations sponsored plebiscite The day will be marked by various activities including rallies, seminars and conferences across the world to remind the United Nations that it must implement its relevant resolutions to settle the Kashmir dispute to save Kashmiris from the Indian brutalities. Hurriyat leaders and organizations have called upon the United Nations and the international community to fulfill their pledge by granting the Kashmiris their basic right of self-determination. Pakistan's permanent representative to the United Nations Munir Akram says India's proposals on United Nations Security Council reforms are undemocratic and self-serving. Talking to APP after New Delhi's assumption of a non-permanent seat in the Security Council, he said India's proposals are aimed to secure permanent membership of the council and other advantages for itself. reacting to some tall claims made by India about its role in international affairs in a video released yesterday Munir Akram said New Delhi stands in violations of the Security Council's resolutions and the United Nations Charter principles Meeting of the Interprovincial Education Ministers is being held on a video link today with Ministers for Federal Education Shafqat Mahmood in the chair The forum will discuss the prevailing situation of the second wave of COVID-19 and the reopening of educational institutions across the country. The meeting will also deliberate upon the beginning of new academic session from August and reduction of spring and summer vacations. As a gradual decrease in deaths due to coronavirus and positive ratio is being witnessed in countries 39 
More deaths were reported during the last 24 hours. 1,895 new positive cases of infections were reported after 30,139 deaths. The death toll has now reached 10,350 and there are now 35,722 active cases in the country. 442,457 patients stand recovered from the pandemic. Meanwhile, the National Institute of Health has confirmed the presence of B.1.1.7 coronavirus variant amongst the two individuals who had visited the United Kingdom where the new variant emerged last month. On the second day of second and final cricket test match at Christchurch against Pakistan, New Zealand in the first innings were 286-3 at stumps today. Earlier, Pakistan in their first innings were all out at 297. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistan newsofficial.